Still have a lot of rain along our coastline. Has not moved much. It's kind of a trough sitting along here tied in with tropical depression beta. And as, until that moves to the north, we're not seeing a lot of rain. I don't think we'll see a ton of it today, but eventually that will be moving north. And as we headed to tomorrow, that might be a little bit different story for us. But Port Fouchon getting a lot of rain for you guys over toward Morgan City area as well. A few showers from home area back to the metro area. Nothing significant, just some of that light rain, some drizzle and mist at times as well. Look at the rain totals just off of our coastline here again. This is just three days. If we go back to four days, we're over a foot of rain down there in the mouth of the river. So very impressive rain totals as you go farther inland. Not quite as much out there, but nonetheless, though, still dealing with quite a bit of wet weather out there. As you head over to Houston, look at this 10, 12, 13, 14 inches of rain. That is just since last night or early this morning through now as those rain bands come in, and that's why there's significant flooding going on across the Houston area. All courtesy of these rain bands coming in from Beta, which not much to it, kind of spinning there between Victoria, Texas and the Houston area. And while they're dealing with those rain bands kind of working the way northward. They're still doing some flooding concerns across much of part of southeastern Texas. Right now winds are at 35 with depression beta as it's moving two miles per hour. So again, you can walk faster than this as it continues to kind of crawl. It's making that northeasterly turn now. It'll be drifting its way through Texas here and eventually into Louisiana and into Mississippi over the course of the next two days. But follow that rain band here all the way from Louisiana, stretching back to Texas. And you can see right where those winds are converging. There's that kind of a line showing up in the wind streams. That's that little trough I was talking about. And gradually that will be lifting its way northward. Now some drier air is working its way into southeast Louisiana. Another reason why we're not seeing much in the way of rain out there. So definitely will be prepared for that, but check out the satellite image here. This is right now hurricane category two Teddy up here in the North Atlantic headed toward Halifax, Nova Scotia. Look at the cloud line. You follow that all the way around here, heading all the way back down to Cuba, all the way here on into tropical depression beta. The two systems are kind of connected by a cold front and what's creepy about it and I'll stop it here. It looks like it's smiling at you in a creepy way. Don't like that at all. Thanks, Tropics. Thanks, Mother Nature, for putting that out there in the satellite. But just impressive how one tropical system is somewhat connected to the other one out there at this time. And you can see here, there's Wittedia. It wins a 105. We also have Paulette, which redeveloped, believe it or not, yesterday from a storm that died out to a new one tropical storm there. And of course, we're watching this little system here tied in with that front. It looks like it's going to hang out near Cuba and get into the eastern part of the Gulf, but with a lot of wind shear going to be just a rainmaker for Florida, so nothing we need to worry about, which is good news. As for beta, it looks like it's going to be tracking slowly across the Victoria, Texas area over Houston, Galveston tomorrow into Louisiana by Thursday morning and then into Mississippi. They're dissipating, but we'll be on the southern side of it. So that means all that moisture is still going to be thrown across our area and those winds are still strong. Look at that. At, uh, 16 to 21 from Canada Lakefront down along the coast, 20 to 30 mile per hour winds. So we still have the coastal flood advisory has been extended. Actually, coastal flood warning now all the way until tomorrow morning or about midday tomorrow. So that does include the North Shore, South Shore, two to four feet of water going to go through another high tide cycle, and that's going to keep those eastern facing shores definitely on the high side. There you can see Nola Lakefront, uh, 3.5 feet, 2.4 in Shell Beach, and less than a foot Grand Isle, Porphyry, Sean, and the mouth of the river. Rain totals maybe an inch to two or so across the area that would be about it. Flash flood watch remains in effect till 7 p.m. Wednesday as some areas could pick up some heavier rain for tomorrow.